Everybody say Ghana Jalot on three. One, two, three. The Jello Festival in Washington, D.C. grew from an internet debate on which country makes the best jollof rice. African-owned restaurants from all over the U.S. took up the challenge to compete for the title of the best jollof rice. This was Ghana's first win, beating their longtime jollof rival and 2023 winner, Nigeria, who placed fourth. Let's go! Let's go, Ghana! <laughs> Ishmael Osekre is the founder and organizer of the annual festival and a proud Ghanaian. He says he was inspired to start the festival in 2017 after following a light-hearted online argument. You know, I was on Twitter, I saw Ghanaians and Nigerians arguing about who makes the best of rice, and I wanted to settle the debate about who makes it, so I thought why don't we do something that will give people a chance to taste and vote for the best. The festival brought together many first-time visitors from different cultures who were excited to try out the different African cuisines. Among them, Tracy Tawia, who said it was not the food that she connected the most with, but the sense of community. It's nice to experience other cultures and different cuisines from other countries, and seeing all these African countries come together to do this is wonderful. Sao Bangura, a representative of the Sierra Leone team, viewed the festival as a way for Africans and African Americans to connect and network. Bringing us here to um, let other culture, other nationalities, especially Americans, to taste our food is a wonderful thing. It's about network. We eat their food, so why can't we give them our food? Of course, it's not an African celebration without music and dancing. The heavy rain did not dampen the mood of the festival goers who kept dancing, energized by the lively DJ and hosts. People huddled around vendors selling traditional African dishes, clothing, jewelry, and much more. King Guapo, one of the hosts for the festival, was happy seeing so many people of different races and nationalities come together. So one thing I pride myself on is bridging the gap and connecting the diaspora. You know, we used to receive a lot of misinformation about Africa, our African-American counterparts, so I want to involve myself with community building events that bring all cultures together and teach one another. While Ghana won the battle in D.C., the war is not over. Despite the competition, for some people, it didn't matter what country made the best jollof rice. For someone like Francis Imobisa, the jollof rice his wife cooked at home was the real winner. Do you have a favorite place to buy jollof rice? I do. The one my wife's cook at home. <laughs> For VOA, I'm Elisa Kalika, Washington, D.C.